prepared to this? Jephthah says the last words thoughtfully, as if the answer is not entirely clear to her. I hope Jethel that you feel sorry for the senseless death of this unfortunate girl, and wish to help her on your journey. And you're not just entertaining yourself as you usually do. No one can be forced into happiness, Jethel, Tristan says passionately, especially with such a gift. Sam, please, end this poor soul's torment. Let her die as she wishes. I'm actually not sure how I found that. It's recommended under games similar to Baldur's Gate. So this is how I found it pretty much. Hmm. Huh. Howdy good. I've made a decision. You should allow the poor girl to die, Jethro. This is her wish. Plus, for some eternity might not be a gift. Oh my god. Jethel frowns. I cannot disobey my patron and master of these lands. However, I hope that you will not make a habit of disposing of valuable resources like that. Jesus, girl. That's so cold. Such rage is bad for both the ruler and his subjects. Alright, I do not know who to believe in this story. Did the merchant deceive us? Or is this girl lying? So far, it it all points to one thing. The half-blood lied to us. He did not merely lie. It was he who killed me in the wastelands. He took the dagger and planted it on his own shop for me to find. Scared the else with his lies. It intentionally sent us here. I am having a lot of fun with that game. And it's so massive. Like I'm still in, in chapter 2. And it seems like there are at least 3 or 4 more. <laughs> so I'm having a lot of fun. Only pick. Well, we are good people, so we will be lawful good. If anyone really deceived both of us and these elves, forcing us to shed innocent blood, then you must be made to pay. You see? Now we both have something to ask the half blood about. This will be amusing. Let us hurry to the capital. You just killed your own daughter. She is so cold. I mean, she's an undead. I can see why. Well, that loot was bad. I don't want that. One gold. It gives me one gold. Well, I'm trying my best to improve my English, so this is this is a labor of fruits, but pretty much. Forward. Like a month ago, it was no, so much worse. <laughs> but still, there are a few words I have to think too long to really pronounce properly, and I I want to improve that. See what your entrails look like. You still like that? What? What's in wait for me there, I wonder? <laughs> I try my best. I try my best. Oh, what is that? Mega Luceros. Sounds like a dinosaur. It looks like a moose. I think that's a moose. Onward. What the fuck? I, I wanted to talk to it. Okay. I'm sorry. Time becomes distance. Oops. My my, my it, it slipped. It slipped. My my sword slipped. I didn't mean to get it. I mean, it was just standing there. It was looking at me evilly. There was definitely something wrong with it. Probably was a druid shapeshift. Someone evil. <sighs> My life is a burden. Oh, come on. Don't fight me. 
I have important kingdom business to do. <laughs> I swear to God it was evil. It spat at me probably. Maybe. There was an evil glint hidden inside its eyes. Sam, spare me a few minutes. You are the ruler of these lands, and I don't dare to tell you what to do. But you just can't stand silently and watch what's happening behind your back. And what is that? There are rumors on the street of savage goddess, enraged by your appearance in her lands. They say she cursed you, and now you bring woe and death to everyone around you. This used to be just idle talk, but now, when we are surrounded by so much death and suffering, the people are ready to truly believe it. And it seems that someone is playing upon your subject's fears. I saw ba Barkers. Barkers? What are Barkers? Like, like street tellers? I saw Barkers in the streets telling citizens of a prophet who is building his own kingdom. According to them, the goddess stands ready to grant forgiveness to any who cle cleanses themselves of the curse. But this cleansing is accompli accomplished through a terrible, cruel death. Tristan gulps heavily. This horrific, these horrific deaths, oh my god, involve a wild beast appearing from inside the body. And I think it's a blessing. Inside the body. It does not sound good. That insane old man, Ramos. He also spoke of some goddess. True. Judd told me of the preacher, who now is perhaps his words touched people more deeply than anyone imagined. What is this kingdom the prophet is building? The Stronger shrugs. I only hear a fragment of conversations. I think it's not a kingdom exactly. More like a community. Or a cult. It's definitely a cult. I'm afraid that we will need to find one of the barkers and ask them. We wish to find out more. The people will believe whatever they want to believe. If the poor souls be. <laughs> oh. Troubling news indeed. We must find out who or what is behind the goddess in her faith. Person nods enthusiastically. Enthusiastically. Good. Perhaps after uncovering this mystery, mystery, we will find out more about the nature of the curse hanging over the stolen lands. I mean, there must be a reason that these cultists shout about you receiving the goddess punishment. If we wish to understand, we must find one of these barkers and, le and learn from them all we can. Sadly, these street pro preachers scare quite easily and avoid our guards. I will begin my search without delay. When you find time, look for me on the streets of the capital. I hope that when we meet, I will have already found someone who can tell us more about this strange goddess and her followers. Okay. I guess that's the next crisis we are dealing with. Dragon bows cogging quite into his beard. Your Grace, I would like to apologize. I suppose I was a little headstrong during my last visit. I have a bad temper. In the mountain they used to call me Grumbler. <laughs> well, I didn't expect my petition to be taken seriously. No one wants to share with strangers, even if their demands are quite law lawful. Please know that I appreciate your hon honesty. Please accept this. I worked hard on it. I hope it serves you well. Mayhem. A decent piece of work. To be fair, but not a masterpiece. Masterpieces are rare, once in a lifetime accomplishments. Anyway, I have an idea how to use our family relic with, for your greater glory. But I'm going to need your help. Come by if you're interested. Or tell you more? No. I need something from you, okay? Oh, I can make him pick something for me. Uh, well. Would love a crossbow. Most reasonable. Nowadays, they don't even think it's a real victory unless you overpower them hand to hand. If you ask me, shooting balls from a distance is smarter than getting blunched to death. Let the fools think what they think, what they like. But you and I know better. I just want a crossbow for one of my ranged guys. I, I, do, I like going hand to hand as well. Oh, my life is a burden. Oh, if you tell me.
All right, the Baron needs help. His companion. Wait, the Baron needs to help his companions before it's too late. I did it already. Kristen has some news. Okay. Okay. How long does it take before the curse starts again? 44 days. Okay. No, Inio, Inio. Where the fuck is Inio? Tell me where he is. He is not here. Take your time, game. Take your time. <gasps> My life is a burden. Valerie, you're not who I'm searching. Trail me. Where is? Oh, he... Tristan is there. I'm looking for someone else. I guess we talk with Jethal. He's flat, as I expected. Jethal touches the box that holds the merchant's wares. Her moves seem relaxed until you notice that her undead fingers are tense and bent like the claws of a predator. It's pointless. Illogical. The children in the woods could hardly be expected to kill us. Why the performance? There must be something... Jethal freezes. Then in an instant she pulls a note from Anna's wares. She glances at it, glances at it and silently hands it to you. It's only one phrase on the note. No way out. And the image of a spirit comet. Spirit comet? Comet? In place of a signature. Do you know the symbol? Of course, the spirit comet is a symbol of Pharos, hmm? What? Not long ago, my goddess managed to break free from the grip of the Lady of Graves. Oh, ever since she treats. Uh, ever since she treats. Ogothos' very existence as a personal affront. The half-blood must be a particularly zealous follower of Pharisman.